What's going down fam and welcome to our channel. In this video, we are featuring West African food combining Senegalese and Gambian ingredients. Together with its amazing flavors, spices and grilling, we call this Senegambian cuisine. Super stoked that it's right here in Las Vegas, so stay put and see you on the inside. What's going down fam? We are so excited to feature for the first time West African food. Looking at this menu, we are gonna go with the jollof rice, the chebuchen, with what they consider their most native dish, which is with the fish. Number two, we're gonna go with the oxtail soup, with this fufu, so I'm not quite sure exactly what fufu is yet. I'm assuming it's kind of like eating like bread or rice or something like that. And we couldn't forget about the fried plantains. We even got the ginger pineapple juice right here. It looks really good. I'm assuming it's this one. I went with the bouillé, the baobab juice. They say it's kind of like horchata without the cinnamon. She went like this. <laughs> so it's probably got some good substance. I can't wait. the tree of life. Wow, that does remind you of like an orchata, but it has like that tamarind kind of spice to it. I got the ginger pineapple juice, there we go. That's a nice touch. Mm -hmm. well, like, she asked if I like spice, so I was thinking maybe there'll be like spices in there, but it's spicy from the ginger. <laughs> I'm about to take a bite of a plantain. Wow. You're gonna love this. Plantains are like bananas, but not as sweet. It's very like a comforting taste. Looks good, you gotta try it. I got the girthy one right now. Mmm. The inside is almost like eating a sweet potato. This is just a great way to snack, be an appetizer. But I'm just gonna like eat this one and then eat it with my other dishes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeez, that looks good. Chebujan, the jollof rice, cabbage. So you want to use the lime? Okay. Squeeze everything. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. This looks simple, but I bet you it's so good. I'm not sure how this works. It's like one big mandu, but it's like almost like a bread bun. Dab it in here, just to get a hint. Mmm, this tastes like nothing. It's got really good texture. It's almost like mashed potatoes fused into like some good bread. It's nice. Now, ever since moving out to Vegas, I've been really wanting some oxtail. So I'm really excited for this little oxtail stew that they have. Oh my God, that taste is really rich. Burst with so many nice spices. I don't like stew when it's like lukewarm. Can't stand that. This is piping hot. It took a while to come out too, so you know it's just been done. It lacks no flavors whatsoever. And that oxtail meat just falls right off. You see, I just scooped it with that spoon. Look at all those oils. Carrot, potatoes just adds a little more of that cool little umami. This is good, man. You know what it tastes like? What? A very delicious minestrone soup. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. I'm gonna try to get this piece of meat right here. Okay. Mm. Thank you, guys. Like that. Oh, uh, that's smart. It's like Korean sujebi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're very filling. And then now you get the actual potato now. Yeah, so I'm gonna try the real potato. Wash the splashes, though. Mmm. It's very flavorful. Yep. Show us a little California love right there. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's California. <laughs> so we got the jollof rice with the fish. Yep. And it looks like, so this is a fish. That's like the scoop of rice. Uh -huh. It looks like there's vegetables in here. Ooh, I think this is eggplant. Mmm. Well, here's a good piece of fish. Mmm. Korean and Japanese dishes use this fish a lot. It tastes just the same. It's delicious. Now I'm trying the jollof rice. The color looks amazing. 
They're gonna like that rice. Yes, why? It tastes like almost like an Asian fried rice with like very tangy flavors in them. It's nice little... Oh my oh, gosh, this is so good. Great. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Shout out to her, man. She's so sweet. There's no sense of urgency like in the best way. Like no one's rushing. Yeah, everyone's just real chill, family oriented. We go back to the fish. Ooh. Just upon looking at it, it doesn't look like it's the juiciest, but I bet you it's so tasty. Man, that's good. It's almost like a steak. That's how good it is, and that's how girthy it is. What is that? I'm not sure what this is. Mm. It's almost like a yucca or yucca. That has a very neutral smell, so I can't really tell what it is, but it's really good. Now to the rice. Here we go, baby. All that sauce is just drenched, embedded into that rice, so it's not wet. Holy smokes, this is good. Mm, mm. Savor on flavor, huh? Mm. Mm. Let me try these eggplants right here, okay? Wow, kind of reminds me of almost like kimchi. It has that type of fermentation to it. But I keep going back to this cabbage, you guys. It's just so delicate and nice. about 15 minutes from the strip. You gotta come see Nene. Yes. Thank you so much, Nene. Thank you, you're welcome. She'll take such great care of all you guys. I, I appreciate, appreciate you. you. Thank you. This place is made with love, man. Too much love. Too much. <laughs> all right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching, fam. And please consider liking and subscribing if you found this video to be valuable. Until the next one, foodie up and safe travels.